Today we're going to teach you how to do mind maps. It's as easy as one, two, three. It's a good idea to have yourself a set of um, Stetler Tri Plus fine liners. Here I've got red, blue, green, um, a couple of highlighters, I've got a couple of Stetler Tex Surfer Classic and a couple of other colors. And it's very much an easy process. You need a, a pad, mapping paper, so we're ready to go. Now, mind mapping, we start in the center. So, how to do mind maps. Mind maps. So let me show how to do it. It's easy as one, two, three. Step one. Step one, you take the topic and the topic becomes an image just like we've got in the center here an image and that image in turn is a set multicolored central image multicolored it should be central and hopefully a beauty so a multicolored image this central image is going to help give it a bit of a, a little bit of outline here to help us and um, bit of colouring in, a couple of colours for our right brain, and this is how it's done. Alright, so step one becomes an image in the centre of the page, that is your heading one, the topic that you're discussing. Step two, we radiate keywords. Now these keywords, a couple of rules for keywords, we print. We print on lines. Notice I'm using the line as a foundation for my writing. Preferably, um, print neatly. Why? Because otherwise you can't read it. Here's a fuzzy image of the word fuzzy. So what happens to a fuzzy image tomorrow? Tomorrow it's gone. So if it's neat today, fuzzy tomorrow, gone the next day. So if it's fuzzy to start with, you're going to lose it quickly. So mind maps are about memory, so print neat. On lines, and the lines should link together. So they are linked lines, just like I've got here. One thing leads to another. And ideally, these keywords are single keywords or phrases but short phrases not sentences right so having done our central image we've radiated some keywords out from the central image and the third step is, it's an optional third step, if necessary, depending on what you're doing with the thing, step three is to fix by adding extra elements, like you can add color, uh, images, we could add asterisks, codes, smileys, things we agree with, things we disagree with, and so on. We could add links. For example, notice that the word color appears up here and appears there, so we might want to link those two ideas so we don't lose them when we discuss. And that's how we do mind maps. It's as easy as one, two, three. So this has been a quick presentation on how to do mind maps by Richard Broom, and if you need to find us, we are at, our website is at www.thinkingskills.co.za. Make a note of that. Good, I hope you've enjoyed this.